Undiagnosed diseases are a huge public health problem in this country and elsewhere. Individually, they are very rare or ultra rare, but as a, combi as a group of disorders, there are about 7,000 of these, and they affect about 8% of the US population. So because of their severity, they cause a lot of personal and societal financial impact, as well as a big public health impact. At Duke, we have an NIH-designated clinical site for undiagnosed diseases. What that means is uh, we evaluate patients from across the southeast part of the United States and some from the Midwest who have these really rare mysterious symptoms who apply to be part of the network. We evaluate their applications and if they're accepted into the network, they travel to Duke and they spend about a week here and we do clinical evaluations, we do the indicated investigations trying to sort out their symptoms, and we also use genomic sequencing as a way to make their diagnosis. About 80% of these mysterious illnesses tend to be really rare and ultra-rare genetic disorders, so sequencing has really enabled us to unravel the underpinnings of these very rare syndromes. At the Duke clinical site, we have uh, a diagnosis rate of 40%. So uh, across the network, the diagnosis rate is about 28%. So ours is a little higher, and we believe it is because of a combination of several things. The way we analyze the genome is a little different from other sites. We look at the genes first and the variants rather than using, those, uh, using the phenotypic features to filter out genomic variants. We analyze the genome separately, look at the patient's clinical features separately, and then combine the two together. And that has really helped us make a lot more diagnoses.